Dearest Margarita. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but my wife does make great mojitos. So oh, okay. Go, so. Is that, you got it? Okay. Okay, we're here with Joe Andrews. Joe is a jazz inspiration, one of the forces in the jazz community who has inspired people who have gone on to create CCJA. Joe is a gifted uh, flautist and jazz saxophonist, educator, and a vital force in the jazz community in Denver. Thank you for being here. Oh, absolutely. My pleasure. In what way is the Denver community unique in regards to our jazz culture? Well, I was kind of thinking about that question, and I guess I have to tie that back to the music education that has really spawned here in just the last uh, 20 years. Uh, having spent um, several years being really involved in the uh, IAJE, International Jazz Educators Organization, uh, when it was alive, of course, but uh, having seen what's going on in, in many of the other cities around the country, uh, it really brought home to me this spark that is uh, in Denver that I think is very unique. Uh, of course, many cities have great jazz scenes, but I have not seen any other place in this country anyway that has the kind of vibrant uh, interaction of professionals with young, younger jazz musicians, with up-and-coming musicians. Uh, it's just a, a, an incredible um, interaction that I think is um, just getting started. What is your vision of the future of jazz in the region? Well, I think that, once again, um, I have to tie that back to that same uh, question and area that uh, my vision really is uh, to see further what, what, I, what I'm seeing happening right now. Um, for instance, uh, um, I have an opportunity for the last uh, 17, 20 years to work with young elementary band students, um, teaching them jazz, teaching them how to um, interact with uh, trading solos. And in that context, I've been able to bring in uh, um, incredible professional jazz musicians from the Denver community, even occasionally from the international community, uh, to interact with them side by side on stage or in the classroom. That program actually um, you know, has um, spawned into even a more incredible program, the Colorado Conservatory for the Jazz Arts, wonderful program. And I uh, would say that my vision uh, in, in the Denver jazz community is to see that kind of uh, interaction you know, uh, grow 10, 100 fold. I think there, the potential is, is great. Um, as I look around Denver, um, oftentimes though we do see, you know, in programs like uh, Colorado Conservatory, um, not as many students from the inner city involved as maybe as you move out into the suburbs. So I guess that would be one of my visions is to really see, um, you know, that program and many more like it uh, become a little more, um, you know, involved in, 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 the, in the grassroots of the elementary schools and Denver public schools and the, in, in, the, in the center of Denver. Um, I would love to see that uh, these uh, kind of interactions with young students, um, jazz musicians that are, say, in high school that are already out there gigging and starting to get going with their own creativity, their own compositions, their own uh, performances. I would love to see that uh, that interaction grow to where you know there was almost no dividing line between those students and professional musicians uh, in performances. Um, uh, see the public forum developed, of course, so that that these uh, students um, have an opportunity to get out and uh, really uh, um, you know. Uh, have, have a chance to have their, their, their music, their playing, their compositions um, be heard uh, into the community. I think that right now we have um, so many great things that are being offered for the young people in, in, in organizations like CCJA, um, but what we lack is, is as many opportunities for these uh, students to get out and perform in the community. Um, I've seen uh, some really fantastic musicians um, come out of that program, Denver School of the Arts, for instance, as well. Um, 
you know, many, many of the area high schools as well have really, really great uh, uh, young musicians that are coming out. Um, but I do um, oftentimes see that, that there's sort of a lack of um, opportunity for them to get out in public. And um, so that would be one of my, my biggest visions for the Denver community to see um, this interaction of mentor and student uh, really grow and develop into, um, you know, um, actually something that would uh, spawn uh, inspiration to many other places around the country. Um, speaking as to what is the effect of having that, that vibrancy, what would it, what would that vibrancy give back to the region and to Greater Denver? Well, I, I think obviously the, the vibrancy gives back uh, really uh, a hundredfold. Um, you know, jazz is such a, a, a medium of communication that uh, in, our, in our world and in the kinds of problems that we're dealing with, with uh, you know, especially with young people today, you know, we, we deal with so much uh, um, lack of hope, uh, cynicism, that kind of thing is, is very prevalent in the world everywhere. And, and certainly we're not without that in, in, in our communities here. Um, I believe that jazz is just an amazing tool to awaken that uh, inner spirit to, um, you know, to, to open up hope, open up um, that vibrancy to, to move on into new creative ways. Um, jazz music has always been the kind of communication that uh, allows people to open that inner creativity and I think that even businesses today are starting to see how important the arts in general, not just jazz music, but the arts in general. Um, students that come into new businesses today are being um, incredibly successful when they've had that background in, in, uh, in some kind of arts, whether it's theater, music, um, visual arts, sculpture, uh, film, all those creative things. Those are the things that uh, many of the successful businesses and actually some of the businesses that are really weathering some of the storms of the economy right now um, are being successful because of that creativity that, uh, that people exhibit. So I think that um, that would be the, the area to see that uh, creativity um, extend into society. Is there anything else that you'd like to speak to? We have an open forum. I would just say that, uh, you know, um, I think that the business community could, could gain a tremendous amount by, um, by really uh, finding, first of all, more uh, venues for younger musicians to, to perform. Uh, once again, I believe that it all comes back to the youth. Uh, we will not see jazz music survive at all if we aren't focused on on how we can take that into the next generation, awaken not only the spirit of, of, of the you know, performance aspect of young musicians, but also awaken to even those people that are not necessarily going to be jazz players, but awaken that spirit of listening so that people are really able to um, you know, hear this great music and not only you know, hear just the music that uh, is offered to them in the uh, pop music of today, um, there's a tremendous opportunity, I think, for, um, for creativity to open up in, in, in all areas of society, you know, through promotion of jazz in the, in the community. One last thing I would add is an interesting kind of uh, symbiotic relationship that way. Um, I had an opportunity about six years ago to go to the Netherlands and participate in an International Jazz uh, Educators Forum a European organization, International Association of Schools of Jazz. And at that forum there were two uh, educators uh, from uh, Trondheim, Norway. An incredible uh, bass player, John Paul Lindeberg, and a saxophonist. And they actually gave a clinic where they performed um, upright bass and, and uh, baritone saxophone together. And, and then after their performance they, they, they talked extensively about how they are uh, doing workshops all over Norway now where they go in and really they, they perform first and then they really talk about the metaphor of jazz and how jazz is is the one art form that really demands individual uh, expression but it also simultaneously demands 
uh, cooperation with mm -hmm. a team, teamwork. So they actually have been going to like fire departments and banks and corporations, and, and they're 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 highly in demand in Norway to come around and give these um, these motivational. Um, you know, uh, workshops that they do, um, and of course they perform at the same time to sort of demonstrate those concepts. So anyway, I think that's a, an interesting symbiosis that maybe uh, we can uh, begin to explore here in Denver because of the, the great wealth of uh, musicians we have here. Thank you, it's been Joe Andrews. Thank you so much. Thank you. Say something there. Uh, hello, hello. Check, check, check. One, two, one, two. Sounds good. We're trying to make this the top listening room in the <laughs> region. Please need everybody to turn off your cell phones and pagers <laughs> and please keep talking to a minimum. We're here with Tyler Gilmore. Tyler is a represents the future.